guys, Danielle here with NeutralSupport.net, here to bring you my first ever tool short. I want to give you quick introductions to new tools or tool updates from manufacturers in the industry. I work with tools all day, all the time, so I'm always interested to see what kind of cool things are happening. So today I'm excited to start with something that couldn't be more deserving, the Wheels Manufacturing Companion Cube. So this is the Wheels Manufacturing Adjustable Press Stop. They made it because they needed to. I mean, they didn't need to. It's about an inch and a half on all sides. Decent size for the job. It's meant to be used with their half-inch presses. So this is their bottom bracket press. It has a half-inch threaded rod. They do not currently make, hopefully they will because I would be ecstatic, an adjustable press stop for their smaller hub-bearing press that uses a smaller threading here. If they did, I'll throw a party for them and I'm definitely add it to my videos because that would be fantastic. So with their traditional press and their hub press, what you have to do is actually unthread one side all the way. So you have these individual arms. This piece, the adjustable press stop, will essentially be replacing this arm, which will save a lot of time in threading and unthreading because if you noticed, this is very long. So if we take this sort of example bottom bracket that we have here and put the press together in it, how it would typically work before the adjustable press stop was made, you would actually have to do that. So once you put the pieces together, you notice that if you thread on the arm at the end, you actually have quite a distance that you need to cover. So on their hub bearing press, they came up with a different solution. Instead of just drilling it all the way down, you would actually, uh, you would actually use what they called a, a speed spacer. So they made speed spacers for their hub bearing press. So what you would do is instead of having to thread all the way down to the hub, you would put your pieces on and then actually space out with the speed spacer so that the actual threading of the rod was only so long and then you could push in without having to thread the other arm quite so far. As far as I know, they don't make speed spacers for the bottom bracket press, at least not the one that I have from them. So I have this scrap bottom bracket welded to a tube that's been sitting in the shop. I went ahead and decided to use it for this video because there's no way that I can use it given the amount of corrosion that it has, and I don't even know where it came from or what it is, truly. So, I'm going to use it today for the example. But one thing I did realize is that I do need to ream the inside of this since it is too small. If you've ever built a frame, you know that when you weld together your bottom bracket, or you weld together the whole frame, the bottom bracket that you use is not actually finished. So after you're done, it's made a little bit undersized, and then after you're done welding the frame, you actually ream the inside to get it to be the correct size. So right now, I can't actually fit a bottom bracket in it. So give me just a second. And we're back. So now I have a reamed inside diameter here that will fit the PF30. I found a PF30 cup, a worn bottom bracket that we can use for this example. So I'm going to show you how the adjustable press stop works. If you look at the Wheels Manufacturing Bottom Bracket Press, one other nice thing that they have is they actually have every circle labeled so that you know what the diameter is and you can put the right one in to your bottom bracket. So this is a 30 millimeter bottom bracket, so that will fit in there. Thread that on, look for the reamed side. So. so at this point, in the past, what you would do is actually thread this arm on, and you would thread it all the way down here and push the bottom bracket in. With the adjustable press stop, you don't have to do all of that. I'm trying not to drop this. What you do, if you look inside here, you can see the threads in there. So if you push this, it's a perfect circle. If you let go, 
it closes down on the threads. And then you could actually hypothetically spin it on the threads because it's biting down with threads. You can see the threads inside there. So what we're going to do is push it. You would put it down and wiggle it just a little so the button detentions. Then you can see that it's not going to go anywhere. So what that does in effect is replace this on the other side. And then you're able to put the bottom bracket in. Loosen this up just a little bit. Then you can just push the button and slide it off. So that's a lot quicker than having to unthread the arm as well. And there you are. So the adjustable press stop is nothing but good news in my opinion. The execution is great. The quality is great. It's a nice heavy piece. It does this so you know you can waste lots of time in the shop just sitting around doing this. If you feel like it, it's like the Mechanics Fidget Spinner. So they did a really good job. They made their tool that already works well work even better, save a lot of time for people instead of having to thread down the thread down the whole arm here. It just makes a lot of sense and I was really excited when this came out. I bought it myself so I was not given it to tell you how great it is. I bought it because I thought it was such a great idea. I use their tools all the time, so this was just a logical step. So the Wheels Manufacturing Adjustable Press Stop gets an A from me, and I encourage everybody who uses their presses or another half-inch press, if you happen to find one, uh, to get this tool. If you want to keep up with us, keep up with the latest tool and technology news in the bike industry, feel free to like and subscribe this video. Follow us on Facebook or on Instagram. We have a sweet website with a cool bike tool database that you should definitely check out. There'll be another video on this channel you can check out about the bike tool database, just giving you a good introduction to that. And we'll see you next time. Maybe you should marry bad things since you love it so much.